Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about how we dog food GitLab CI CD to do data pipelines. So how we extract and load data for the license dot and versions dot GitLab applications using GitLab CI CD and pipeline schedules. So this is Alper from GitLab product intelligence and data engineering teams work together on that. So if you have any question just ping us in the relevant channels for product intelligence or the data engineering. So we do the data pipelines for license dot and versions dot applications. We use the extraction part is done using GitLab CI CD pipelines and the schedules. So we extract data from the Google Cloud Platform Cloud SQL using scheduled CI pipelines. We place the data into a GCS bucket, which is a storage bucket. We could place it in an Amazon AWS S3 bucket too. We use the pipeline schedules feature from GitLab CI CD to extract the data using a cron schedule, or we may also manually trigger an export. We configure the pipelines using CI CD environment variables. And finally, the data team loads the exported files in the GCS bucket into the data warehouse. I'm going to also talk how we configure GitLab CI YAML to run the export bash script. So in short, in your GitLab CI CD, uh, you may copy, if you want to do that, the same thing on your project. So you need to include the GitLab data YAML file, which in turn includes the export data YAML. So, and then that export is using the Google Cloud, official Cloud SQL tool Docker image, runs in a pipeline schedule, and then runs an export script. And now that export script is the Hard hold does the hard hold work, which is just gets a list of tables. So in license dot, we want to export tables named add-ons, granted add-ons, licenses, and users. And then that one, that script can be used as is, that loops through the scripts and then does the weekly exports. So for each week, it goes let's say 15 weeks backwards or 300 weeks backwards and does the exports. And finally, um, for each table you want to export, you write a select statement, which can also take a start and finish date to limit what you export. Let's say you may export weekly and then you put here your start and finish dates. And finally, in the readme file for license dot and versions dot, you can find here the environment variables we use to configure the export process. So we have the Google Cloud credentials, the bucket name, where we are going to place the exports. And what matters is that we have a max past weeks to export parameter which tells us how many weeks backwards in history to, we want to export. And then if you want to re-export existing files or just re-export the current week, then if you want, if you want to export a single table to, for debugging purposes, we can do that. And then we have the verbose flag, which will give us a lot of useful information. Okay, that's again the select statement. Let me show you how you can monitor that. So in your project, you go to CI, CD, and schedule section. So in license dot or versions dot, you can see that. Here, you see that we have an export job running, targeting the master branch. And we see here the last pipeline run, and next run is 24 hours. And then when you wanna edit that, you can see that you can configure the export using some environment variables and credentials are going to be entered there too. 
and let's say you want to see you click on the last pipeline in the pipeline we have currently just one job when you click on that job you may see a detailed output of the export process so we really pull the cloud sql tools and we check what's already available on the bucket we try to re-export the current week and then um, we skip any exports which are already there from previous weeks so you may go to the pipeline schedules to monitor your actually exports that's all if you have any questions ping me alper or anyone in the product intelligence channel thank you very much